I like faces. I like faces so much that I like to create them. Here's one idea for creating different kinds of faces. I've taken some styrofoam here, and you can find styrofoam at your hobby shop or at your local floral shop, and I've sprayed it, and then I've also attached a piece of wood to the back by taping it. Then what I've done is I've cut out some other shapes from styrofoam. Now make sure that if you do color your styrofoam, it's the right kind of paint because certain kinds of paint will uh, make the styrofoam melt. Now I'm going to create a face by using all the different shapes which I've cut out and colored. Let's see. Uh, you can have many different kinds of expressions, many different kinds of characters. I've attached my styrofoam uh, to the larger face here by uh, using toothpicks. And, and now I have a different kind of face. Now, what's fun about this is that I could actually change my face in seconds. Uh, I can move this shape over here like this and put this down a little bit lower and uh, I can take these green shapes here and uh, move them here and then I can take this and move it right here and take my eyebrows and make that right into my mouth. There. That's a whole different kind of face, isn't it? Now, I have collected many different face, uh, different kinds of shapes. Some are made out of cloth, some are made out of wood. And I would like to share some of those shapes or those masks that I have collected and show you how those masks make me move.
You're practicing your drawing every day, right? 20 or 30 minutes, your drawings are getting better and better and better, and they'll still get better and better if you keep practicing. Look here in the Secret City Gallery, I have some Cindy the Dragon sketches that our club members did. This first Cindy the Dragon is done by Betsy Jablonski. Look at the nice shading and the contour. Look at that delightful flame with the, the cloud of smoke coming out of the nose and the eye. Neat drawing, Betsy. Good job. Let's look at another drawing. Look at this. This is nice and colored in. This is done by Cindy Kahn, our club member. She used yellow and red and blue and white. She has Cindy the Dragon holding a pen and getting ready to do a sketch. Can you see where Cindy the Dragon overlapped leg is? Look at the leg. Can you see where she, the leg is overlapping over the body? Can you see where she used a surface? Cindy Khan used surface on this drawing. Can you see size? Can you pick out size? Can you see on the ribbon on the head? Did you get lots of ideas from Meta Man with his faces? Well, you, you could draw those faces in your secret cities and you could put little inhabitants or creatures inside of your secret city buildings or in your secret forests. Right now, I'm putting some creatures in my secret forest up here on the planetscape. I'm putting some silhouettes of unibears up here. I'm drawing in with my pencil the sketch of the unibear's head, and there's the unibear's horn. Here's his hand waving to everybody. And then I'll take my black pen and show you how distant the unibear will look because I'm using silhouette. Now, it takes a lot of guts to take your pen and to color something in all black after you took the time to draw it in. But sometimes it adds just the right touch to your drawing. Now, by now, since you've been practicing and drawing every day, you've been practicing and drawing every day, right? Well, by now, your skill level is getting really, really good. And so these silhouettes will really enhance your drawing and make these objects look like they're really sitting far back in the distance. I'm going to draw Unibeer's ears. And look at he's waving. And his other side of his hand is holding on to the tree over here. So you can see his hands wrapped around the side of the tree. I think I'll draw another Unibear silhouetted. I use my pencil first so I make sure I get a perfect proportion. There's his body and then there's his horn. And he's walking through the forest. There's his arm. I just kind of roughly sketch it in. And then I draw the horn. The nose right here. And then I color it in. I silhouette it. Now you know you can do a black silhouette against a, a light background like the orange background of the sky of the Secret City mural here, or you can do a white object against a dark background. That's a silhouette too. You can also use color to silhouette. You can do a green silhouette against a blue background or against a yellow background. Any color would look as long as it's a solid shape. It's a silhouette. You get kind of a silhouette back there. Even a silhouette of a tree coming down in front of this unibear. And another silhouette of another tree post coming down, nice and dark. I already put some other silhouettes here. I think I'll put one more right in the middle to make it look like it's a really thick forest. And I can even silhouette some leaves up here. See, silhouette helps all these little spots on your drawing. It's like frosting a cake, huh? Putting all this icing on your cake. Lots of neat ideas for your own Secret City mural. Let's take a look.